Born 30 years and two days ago in McMinnville, Luke Bukite was always an active child who competed in youth sports every opportunity he got. However, Luke suffered an unfortunate injury to his right eye while playing with some friends in the neighborhood, causing a high percentage of sight loss, enough to warrant legal blindness. With his optical disadvantage threatening his ability to play sports, Luke's left eye worked to overcompensate for the right, while Bukite brought an unmatched level of ferocious intensity and competitive drive to every athletic competition. By the time he enrolled at McMinnville High School as a freshman in 1994, Luke had willed himself into being one of the best three-sport athletes in his class. He competed on the football field as a defensive end and tight end on offense, as a physical post player in basketball, and as a pitcher on the baseball mound who could throw a powerful fastball. After leading all three freshman teams to winning seasons, Bukite gained valuable experience on each of the three varsity teams in his sophomore year. As a starter, he helped the football team win four out of nine contests in a tough Pac-7 conference, losing three games by a total of two touchdowns. On the basketball court, Luke was a leading contributor on the JV team while seeing some spot minutes on the varsity squad. The Bears had a rough season, but the involvement that Bukite had with his older teammates allowed him to evolve his toughness and skills into a physically bruising rebounder and defender. In baseball, he continued to develop his arm as a lead pitcher on the JV squad while participating on the varsity team in a relief role. As a junior and team captain, Luke's large frame and tenaciously aggressive playing style allowed him to become one of the best football players in the state. Probably the biggest thing about Luke was uh, just his uh, leadership by example. Uh, he definitely got after it. Uh, every day in practice it was a battle with Luke. And uh, you know, in football, if you're the guy on the other side of the ball, in practice there was no plays off. Luke was going to go 100%. And, uh, um, he also expected that from everybody else, and whether it was coaches or players, he, he definitely raised the level for everyone. He was just outstanding. He loved to practice, okay, which was kind of unusual. He seemed like he was always the first person on the field and the last one to leave. And he's tough. He's kind of from that old time segment a little bit, you know. Uh, not saying that you have to play hurt, but it was going to take a lot for him to miss a play. He achieved all-league first-team status while leading the Grizzlies to their first winning season in several years. During basketball practice, Bukite took an accidental elbow to his right eye, jarring some scar tissue and forcing him to sport an all-new look for protective purposes. The goggles didn't just serve as an insurance policy, they also added to the persona of Luke Bukite. He was a blue-collar worker with an old-fashioned game now complete with a retro styling. Any adversity or jeering that Luke endured because of them only refueled his competitive fire, taking his game to a whole new level. You know, he chipped his tooth, he had a, he had, it, he hit his eye, he, you know, had jammed fingers, and he just came to practice one day, and he had a, uh, you know, brand new haircut, he had the goggles on, he had missing teeth, he had, you know, cotton ball stuck up his nose, and, uh, you know, just, I think he was at his happiest at that moment. You know, he just, it was kind of like the Green Bay Packer look of the old. He loved to look beat up and just get after it. And so, um, where a lot of guys would have been sitting on the sideline because they had a scratch, you know, Luke, Luke wanted more. It's kind of a throwback. He's uh, old school. You don't see too many of him anymore. And he, coaches really admire and like people like Luke on their, in their program and on their teams. Uh, three sport athlete, you don't see that a lot, three sport athlete that excelled in all three sports. He helped the Bears win 22 out of their 27 games and claim the Pac-7 League Championship. The Grizzlies went one up and two down at the state tournament to cap off a great bounce back season. Even though the baseball team struggled to find wins, Luke was finding his niche as a great fastball pitcher, earning an all league second team selection as the team's captain to end an excellent junior year. Returning as the football team's captain in his senior season, Luke led the Bears to four wins out of nine tries, with three losses coming by less than a touchdown, two in overtime. The Grizzlies battled like warriors in a strong league, while Bukai earned another all-league first-team selection along with all-state honorable mention honors. He was chosen to play in the all-state senior all-star bowl, where Luke scored the first touchdown of the game to end his high school gridiron career on a high note. He was, I think, an outstanding blocker first. Um, I think that he was also an outstanding pass receiver. And he was a perfectionist. He just worked really hard at trying to always do the right thing. He was always trying to please, which I sure appreciated as a head coach. And some of those same values um, were also you found on the baseball field when I was there. As the basketball team's starting power forward, Luke boosted the Bears into a third place league finish and a return to the state playoffs for the fourth time in five years. 
For his best season yet, Bukite was awarded with an all-league third-team selection and is the team's most inspirational player. Luke was one of our silent leaders. He'd speak up when it needed to be something needed to be said, but he primarily led by example, and all of us appreciate the fact that never during one day did we have to ask him to provide an effort for us. You know, he was self-motivated, played very, very hard. Perhaps Luke shined brightest on the baseball diamond that spring, throwing a no-hitter on his way to an all-league first team and all-state honorable mention selection. The team captain also claimed the team's most inspirational and most valuable awards to cap off a commendable high school career. His final game that season, late game, he pitched a no-hitter against Dallas. I don't know if it was a perfect game or not, I can't recall, but he always had good control, always played with a lot of excitement, enthusiasm, and passion. Before graduating from MHS as a member of the Honor Roll and National Honor Society, Luke would be recognized as the school's most outstanding three-sport athlete, the Oral Robbins Outstanding Male Athlete of the Year, and with the Oregon Scholar Athlete Award. The Mac Club and News Register honored him as an outstanding scholar athlete, but Bukite would receive national news by taking seven dates to his senior prom, and of course, being crowned as the king. What started as a nice guy doing a considerate act quickly spiraled into a media frenzy, including appearances on radio and TV, such as The Today Show and Late Night with David Letterman. Luke's unsought, newly acquired 15 minutes of fame not only added to his character, but also showed the quality of it. He was a three uh, sport athlete for all four years, um, outstanding at all, uh, at all three. Um, I, you know, he could have swam, he would have excelled track. He, he was just a gifted athlete. Um, but his biggest strength was his commitment and work ethic and just, uh, I mean, he, he gave you everything he had. And so, you know, you don't get too many kids like that where you can count on it um, day to day, week to week, sport to sport, and for all four years. In the fall of 1998, Bukite decided to stay local by enrolling at Linfield College to study education while playing football and baseball for the Wildcats. He made an immediate impact, stepping right into the starting tight end spot as just a freshman, while the team pursued a historic 43rd consecutive winning season, more than any other college in the country. The Cats won seven of their nine games, achieving history as Luke was selected onto the all-conference second team. But, but Luke made an immediate impact right away, so we were pretty excited to get Luke. Uh, he was known as a, just a tremendous competitor, and so uh, he came to us with great uh, hope and reality because of his frame and his ferocity and his, uh, his drive. Bukite's first baseball season also went very well, as he got plenty of opportunities as a relief pitcher while earning the team's most inspirational award. The Wildcats finished a solid season nine games over 500. Luke's second year went a lot like his first, with both the football and baseball teams posting another winning season, while Bukite earned his second consecutive all-conference second team selection in football and most inspirational award from the baseball team. However, one difference was Luke's desire to play basketball again, so he decided to join the club for one season as a sophomore. It proved to be a fortuitous decision when a few of the Cats' key players went down with injuries. Luke flourished in a starting role and led the team all the way to the conference championship game. Though they would come up short of the victory, the Wildcats finished with a winning season and by awarding Luke as their most inspirational player. This was enough to quench his thirst for the sport and make him one of only two male athletes to compete in three sports at Linfield in the last 15 years. Bukite and the Cats soared to new heights in his junior football season, as the newly appointed team captain led the team to their first conference championship in seven years. Luke was chosen onto the all-conference first team and all-American second team, while the Wildcats lost a close game on a questionable call to Iowa in the NCAA playoffs to end another historic season. He certainly had uh, all the skill sets to be a, a fine receiving tight end, had very good hands. Uh, obviously all the baseball that he played I think helped in that regard because he had, he had great hands, so if you threw it near him he'd catch it. And then it was fun to watch him humble with it uh, once, he, once he did catch it. But uh, he was first and foremost a dominating, blocking tight end. But he certainly had all the ability to, to make great plays in the passing game. And, and did. Certainly became one of the finest passing tight ends I think we had. The baseball team achieved a 24-10 record, one of the best winning percentages in school history, while Bukai earned an all-conference first-team selection and pitched in more games than any other conference player, cementing his status as the Cats' best pitcher. Luke looked to end his college athletic career in triumphant fashion as a senior by leading the football team to the school's 28th conference championship and 46th consecutive winning season. Linfield would go on to accomplish 54 straight winning seasons, a national collegiate record in 12 more years than the second place school. Bukite was again selected onto the all-conference first team and all-American second team for his best season ever. I took him down to Oregon State to try to get him involved down there. He went to like a little tryout camp that they had at that time. And I remember at one point, 
not only my dad, but also Mike Riley told me, he says, I think the best tight end in the state of Oregon, college-wise, is at Linfield College, Luke Mukai. In his final baseball season, the Wildcats achieved a 24 win and 16 loss season, regardless of a tough schedule with over half their games on the road. Luke concluded his baseball career by acting as team captain and being chosen onto the all-conference first team and all-American third team, while the Cats voted him yet another most inspirational and most valuable pitcher awards. Bukite is currently a part of six top 10 Linfield records for baseball, including career ground outs, total strikeouts, and he is still the school's all-time leader in saves. He was a very big pitcher in terms of his presence on the mound was big. Uh, he scowled, he, he was a mean looking presence on the mound, and I know hitters were very fearful when Luke came in because of the sidearm delivery, because of his countenance, because of his size, and, and when you throw uh, hard, and he had good velocity with great movement, um, but from the sidearm delivery, it would come at guys' heads, and, and you know, so he was very intimidating from that standpoint. And, and uh, he had a tremendous role coming in and, and really winning many games for, for our baseball team. Before graduating from Linfield with an education degree in 2002, Luke was honored as the school's most outstanding senior in education and as the male athlete of the year. He was presented with the first Vern Marshall Tenacity Award to close out his athletic achievements, making some journalists wonder what he could have done with two good eyes. After spending one season as assistant baseball coach for Linfield, Bukite was given the opportunity to be the head football coach at Regis High School in Staten. He garnered quick recognition as a tremendous up-and-coming coach while the team took on his personality, never giving up on any play no matter what the situation. It was this style of play that put Regis in the state championship game and Bukite's name back in the newspapers. Though the Rams came up shy of the championship, that season marked a beautiful start to his coaching career. Luke has never looked for the spotlight, but with a fierce passion for everything that he does, the spotlight has a tendency to find him. I think we're just really fortunate. We had him as a student athlete for four years, but now he's bringing back all those qualities and instilling them into our current student athletes. You walk, you walk into his weight room, it's probably the most active uh, PE classroom I've seen. I mean, he runs it like he's a, a drill sergeant for the Marines. Um, he's got everything timed down to the minute. He's got uh, every drill broken out, and he's got kids moving. And so, uh, you know, the way he's teaching is and coaching is exactly the way he uh, competed in athletics. He puts everything into it. Um, uh, you know, he. His work ethic is, is incredible, and just the impact he's having on our kids is uh, something we don't take for granted. Today, since he serves as Mac High's strength and conditioning teacher while coaching football and baseball, McMinnville will have a front row seat for more bright moments to come from Luke Bukite.